Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra Solomon and I have Rotten Rebel with Hi. me. Hi. We are going to go through 10 really seductive fragrances for mm. both men and women. I have chosen five for men. And I have chosen five for women. Yes, and tell me how you chose these five. Uh, so there are actually quite a lot of seductive fragrances out there. Yes. Uh, but what I wanted to do uh, was to try and get different kinds of seductive. So I have some, some that are super sweet, some that are less sweet and more sort yeah. of aromatic and spicy, etc. So I tried to cover the entire spectrum of notes and vibes. But they, at, at least according to me, they are all seductive. Funny thing, because I was thinking just like that. Mm. I wanted different kinds of fragrances, uh, but they should all, of course, be seductive. Mm. So we have some sweet ones, we have some boozy ones, we have leather, Exciting. and we have tobacco. Nice. So I am going to let you start. Ooh, so my first pick, I wanted to, let's start in the sort of a seductive, but classy and elegant so there's like a pretty yeah. good balance this there's a seductive kind there's a seductiveness in the elegance and in the class so my first pick is uh, YSL Libre that's a good one so while you spray it on yeah I'm gonna quickly just remind everyone of the notes so the notes in this one are lavender, mandarin, origin, blackcurrant, pedigrain and then we have lavender again orange blossom, jasmine Madagascar vanilla musk cedar uh, ambergris. This one to me it has that beautiful lav lavender, which is not that common, at least to no. me, in female no. perfumery, in female scents. Uh, and then it has the orange blossom together with the jasmine, so a floral touch. Then the sweetness with the musk, vanilla, and a woody touch to it. So this yeah. one is quite complex, but complex in a in a simply beautiful way. Yes, and I am happy that you chose this one because, and also that you said that this is like elegant seductive because mm. that's exactly how I feel when I have this on. Mm. This is one that when I dress up and dress elegant, this is the one I wear to feel sexy. Mm. Uh, this is the perfect, sophisticated, seductive fragrance. And I mean, when I smell this one, obviously this is gonna work regardless of your outfit, but when I smell this one and the sort of um, vibe I get from this one is someone who dresses up a bit uh, and there's she's like oozing elegance and in that elegance and class, there's this insanely seductive vibe. Yeah. So she, she gives off this scent of something that is classy and elegant but with that seductive side just pulling you in. This is this is so good. I would call this like, it maybe it's not maybe the biggest head turner, but it is going to turn heads your way because I find it's, it's quite unique. So coming up, I have one that I think smells boozy, but there's no booze in it. But mm. this is incredibly seductive, very elegant, very it sophisticated. Is. This makes women, or at least me, interested mm. and that is a L'Omidial Extreme. Yes, it's so Wow, good. is it extreme or extreme? Uh, I have no idea, it doesn't matter. What no. matters is the juice and the juice in this one is amazing. Please do <laughs> share the notes. <laughs> So we have almonds and pink pepper in the top together with bergamot, then some plum, cinnamon and heliotrope. We have tobacco, leather, patchouli and cedar. Mm. So usually when you have uh, tobacco and leather uh, in a fragrance, sometimes mm. it becomes a bit... I love them though, I love those two notes. Yes. Uh, but it could be become a bit sort of raw and rough and all that, but this one it is not that. Mm. This is so smooth and it has that uh, sweetness uh, together with that unique almond, that signature yeah. almond from, yeah. uh, from Guerlain, uh, from the Lomi Dial collection. Yes. Uh, and then that sort of a masculine vibe of the leather and tobacco. This is so yeah. unique. <clears throat> and do not forget about the wonderful plum note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. So that woody cedar, the leather, the tobacco is just perfectly mixed with the fruitiness from the plum and as you said those sweet almonds yeah and it's a beautiful one i'm gonna say this was i honestly feel that you cannot go wrong with pretty much any 
any of the ones in the Lomme Ideal collection. No. But this is probably the one that is actually the most seductive and attractive in a sort of a sexy way. Yes, and I chose it just because it is the one that I think uh, deviates the most from the others. Mm. And that really, I mean, all of them smell amazing and so good. But all of those are fragrances that women have smelled before. Yeah. And this is a new one. And this is one that will get you noticed because this is not one that they have smelled 10 or 15 or 200 times before. That is true. This is really seductive. Yes. Um, awesome pick and I'm really happy that you selected this one because I always been uh, telling guys that uh, the scent of almond is not the most common in perfumes. No, unfortunately not. Uh, which means that uh, you are going definitely going to stand out in a crowd with this one and you're going to uh, send off uh, the scent from you will be something that a lot of people are not used to in a good way yeah. and the entire Lomidal collection is quite uh, I think at least underused if I'm gonna put yes, it that way so you, it's not a common scent when you are out and about no. so you will definitely smell absolutely fantastic in a seductive way with this one so the next one I chose is Valentino Donna Noir absolute so I'm gonna quickly read out the notes so we have pepper at the top then we have liquor plum and rose leather and sandalwood. So this one reminds me a bit wow. of the Noir Absolute for men, but it's way less incensey. Yeah. Uh, and it's ha it has that sort of a femini feminine touch to it. it and does. the reason why I chose this one is that we are still in that sort of a elegant kind of seductiveness. Yeah. But we are taking one step closer to something that is moving a a bit, just a bit, away from the elegance and class and into something that is more sexy. So we are still not sort of a down in that sort of a raw, seductive and sexy kind of seductiveness, <laughs> but we're getting there. Okay. Uh, I love this one. So um, if you have seen any of our previous videos and especially the ones on Rotten Rebels channel, you know that he has a saying that he wants to make out with his favorite fragrances. Ooh. And you want to make out with that I one? I want to make out with this Whoa. one. This is so good. This is one of the best from Valentino or maybe the best. This is elegant. It's seductive. I do think it's a little bit dirty. Oh, you do? And I, I think it's like... The leather maybe. The leather and also that, I don't know if it has incense in the notes, but something that it, reminds this me of it. something that, yeah, that's yeah. true. So yeah, this feels so good to have on. This is not so easy to find. Mm. And that's the only bad thing about it. Yeah, I believe this is this is like, it's so hard to find. And I believe the men's <clears throat> version is discontinued. So uh, if you can find this one, just grab a bottle. Yeah. So I think this is so cool because it has that sort of a fruitiness from the plum. But the way it's combined with the sandalwood and then the leather makes it it has so many different kind of sides. So it has yes. something classy, yet something seductive and sexy about it. And that's yeah. why I love it. And what do you think? Because I um, I wouldn't put, I mean, this smells amazing, obviously, uh, but I wouldn't put it on going to work at an office. Mm. Um, this is one that I put on, like going out with friends or going to meet someone, but not for work because mm. this is a little bit too dark and seductive. Ah, uh, well, I'm not, I've never been sort of shy of wearing cha challenging or different perfumes at workplace. Um, so uh, for me, no, uh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> but for a lot of other people, I would say maybe this is something you reserve more for when you are going out on a date and you want that sort of seductive, yeah. sexy vibe. I, I mean, I wouldn't have a problem using it at the office, mm. but to me, it's kind of waste of a seductive ah, fragrance that yeah. I would rather use That's on a date. That's a true one, yeah. So maybe yeah. reserve, especially if you, if, if, since <clears throat> it's so hard to find, maybe reserve this for those special occasions when you want to just Maybe have for a, some nighttime activities. Maybe <laughs> nighttime activities or if those nighttime activities happen to happen on during daytime. Yeah. Uh, but then it's daytime activities. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Yes, let's move uh, on. <laughs> awesome scent anyway. I just love this one. And uh, yeah, this is definitely, for me at least, something that is really seductive. Good choice. And I wanted to throw in a really seductive fragrance mm. that um, gets 
a bit critique when mm -hmm. I have it in my top list. Whoa, but why? I love this one. And uh, this doesn't have any tobacco notes. Mm -hmm. But the notes, no. The name is Tobacco Blaze yeah. from Rasasi La Yukawam. So I'm gonna read you the notes and if you spray that on. We have in the top some saffron, neroli, lily of the valley, then some apricot, violet, cumarin, amber and cedar, then leather, agarwood, agarwood and patchouli. Mm. So here you go. Thank you. Um, so this one to me, it, it has something tobacco-ish about it. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And yeah. sometimes the notes are not correct. Uh, but this one is from the La Yucavam collection, which primarily focuses on leather, at least on the men's side of it. Yeah. Um, so this one definitely has leather to it, but uh, to my nose at least, there's a, an element of tobacco in I it, which so I too. absolutely love. I think it's like some kind of to me, it smells like some, some kind of smoked tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's the, the thing I hear about this getting critiqued? Yes, because when I had it in my list, people are like, no, that's not a good one. But uh -huh. I love it. I think it smells incredibly masculine. It smells intriguing. It's attractive. It's definitely seductive. And um, it's one that is so special and so unique, but you can wear it to any place. Mm. I have smelled this on the gym and wow, mm. this is seductive. I think, uh, I'm not sure, number one, I don't think this is something that a lot of people own. That's number one. Yeah. Uh, this is from Rasasi, even though Rasasi is a well-known brand, uh, it's not the most common brand that people think of when they go to buy perfumes. No. And it's not the easiest thing to find it either. So no. this is this is, and this is the sort of a less common scent from the Rasasi La Yucavam collection, yes. where La Yucavam is the most common one because it's a clone of Tuscan leather. But this one to me is, uh, that's not the, I love it personally. And my, uh, my experience with it is that you, when you put it on as a man, you will uh, not smell like every other guy. This no. ain't Savage, baby. No. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, the, so that's number one. Number two, every single one uh, female who got a whiff of it from me really enjoyed it. This is not something that is super challenging. It's different no. in a really good way. Yes. I don't find this super challenging in any way. I just love this one. So yeah, yeah this it's was so an awesome pick. Next up, we have one that I'm completely head over heels in love with, and that is Lancome's La Vie et Belle Blanche. Oh my God. So I'm yes. gonna quickly read up the notes. We have pink pepper bergamot, and we have iris neroli, orange blossom, and jasmine sandback. And then we have sweet notes, white musk and bread and then patchouli. So this one to me is powdery. It has that floral touch with the iris. It has the highs, the citrusy brightness from the pink pepper and the bergamot. And then at the base, that sweetness, that musky sweetness. Oh, yes. This, this is, is so good. This is like to me. Valentino Donna on steroids. It's very mm. similar to it, but it, this is more sexy because it has that sweetness. And oh my God, I have been using quite Whoa. a lot. This is an amazing one. I love putting it on. The only bad thing about it is that when you have it on yourself, mm. you can't smell it that uh. much. But I do know that it projects good to yeah. others and others think that you smell uh, amazing, but yes. I really like to enjoy the fragrances that I wear myself. Ah. So that's too bad, but this is seductive. It, it is, is elegant, it is sophisticated. I would say it's also a little bit pretty. Mm. So this one to me is, we are sort of getting more into the sort of a sexier kind of seductive vibe here. But this one still to me retains something that is bright, happy, yeah. playful, yes. yet with that sort of a sexy undertone, let's put it that way, and a big dose of seductiveness. Yeah. Uh, anyone can rock this and you will smell absolutely fantastic in that sort of a sweet, musky, powdery way, but this one is not super deep or anything. No. This It has some depth to it, 
but with an airy brightness that is just amazing. Yeah. I love this one. Yeah. So if you can find a bottle of it, if you usually yeah. enjoy uh, the way we sort of just described it, I mean, get a bottle yeah. right away if you see it. And one thing about what I have noticed is when there are fragrances that are really hard to find online, mm. go to the lo local store. Ah. Because quite often I have found fragrances just standing there ah. on the shelves and I'm like wow this is and like I actually sold found, out everywhere <laughs> yeah I actually found Prada Lom Intense in the store when it was almost completely sold out uh, yeah. online yeah. so yeah try the store if you if you can't find it online yeah so now it's time for a different kind of seductive vibe okay we have moved it down or maybe it's up the ladder <laughs> uh, and yeah. we have arrived at something that is really seductive but in a really sexy way uh, and the one i'm talking about is jean paul gautier la belle la parfum yes. please do spray yes, it on yes i will and i will not need a long time to read up notes because the notes are just pear and then we have tonka bean jasmine and vanilla mm. so this one to me is yeah. like this massive dose of sweetness but it's not cloying is sweet or anything like that no together with the pear so vanilla basically and pear yeah but with this sort of a, that floral aspect as well yes. i love it and this is incredibly seductive both to the ones around you but also on yourself this mm. smells so amazing and you just want more here's the thing about me uh i usually can't stop talking <laughs> i love when have, have anyone noticed i love when something shuts me up uh, and this one shuts me up. Wow, I'm uh, gonna be using this a lot. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, no, but I think this one is, it's, it's so, this one to me is seductive in that really sexy way. There's not much elegance in this one, maybe just a hint of it, but uh, yeah. it's, it's, this is the one that you seduce people with, period. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is really good and uh, Note that this is the Le Parfum, yeah. not the original one. I know you like the original one, but I think the original is quite horrible. Um, there is something about the pear note in the original ah. one that just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, this um, is Le Parfum uh, version. But this is, it's so much more well made. It's so much more simple but complex. Yes. And feels just incredible to wear. Yes. So I... you will smell sed seductive, but you will probably also behave seductive because you will be feeling so great. Yeah. And that is seductive, people feeling great. Mm. Yes. I love this one. If you usually enjoy sweet fragrances and want something that is quite unique in the way that it has that big dose of pear together with the sweetness yeah uh, and want something that is really seductive and sexy make sure you get this one there are a few things that are as seductive as leather notes mm. so of course i had to have another one with leather and i chose to go with tom par tom par tom par tom par <laughs> <laughs> this is Tom Parr. No, this is, I was trying to say everything at once. This is Tom Ford Ombre Leather mm, Parfum. So good. So, so good. good. I really enjoy the original one. Yeah. But I really do like that this has a little bit, bit more of the sweetness and a little bit more of that floral side. Mm. Uh, and that's why I think it's, I mean, they are both seductive. Uh, but I think this might be more elegant seductive ah. and the other one is more dirty seductive ah. um i've been so, noticing that you seem seem to be gravitating a bit more towards parfum yeah so you really enjoy it and to me i mean most people are not going to feel a massive difference between parfum and the original there is a difference but i don't think it's the biggest in the world and no. i do not think you can go wrong with either of them no so what we have in this is violet leaf and cedar. We have some jasmine sandback and oris, then leather, woody notes and tobacco. Mm. So um, I think the, the, to me, to my nose at least, uh, the leather mm. in this one is a bit different and it has a sort of a woody and smoky undertone or sides to it, which yeah. I feel is lacking. It isn't, does not exist in the original. And the floral side of this one is different to me in that the violet is more prominent and the jasmine, which is more prominent in the or original, is toned down in this one. 
but that could just be my nose. Yeah. Um, so there is a difference. I still feel this is insanely good. It is. Do you think it's necessary to have both? I don't think it's necessary if you do, if you're not like, if you're not obsessed with the original. Yeah. So the thing with me is I'm obsessed with the scent of a leather. That's number one. Number two, uh, ombre leather. The original is like probably my absolute favorite leather perfume and one of my four like fragrances. Yeah. So having them both, I mean, when I when I saw that, I, I believe I bought this one like within a week of its release or something. I just had to have it. Yeah. But if you don't, then I would say just just get. The, which whichever of those that you enjoy the most yeah but how and do you feel which one I is think... more so i'm gonna guess you feel that this is a bit more seductive than the other one then. um yes but just a hint ah, just okay. slightly more seductive and i have come to realize that i really enjoy uh, floral notes mm. in men's fragrances and i'm not talking about the usual suspect the lavender that is mm. in like every man's fragrance but when they add some violet leaf I go crazy. Mm. Um, so don't be afraid of floral notes no, no, no. in men's fragrances. No. They are like the best. Yeah, and I yeah. think that's why I chose this one because the floral side is more prominent mm. in this than in the other, even though both are focused on the leather. So I'm curious, uh, I think this one it might actually not pan out to be something you found attractive. But I believe it was a few days ago when I, or may, yeah, it was last week when I layered Tom Ford's Ombre Leather with mm, Montala's Jasmine Fall. Yes, I so did So what I want to do is, I just wanted to boost the Jasmine side and make it a bit more floral, the leather. Uh, so did you, did you yes, notice did. the smell? Yes, I did. And, and was I, it good? I also did give you a compliment. Oh, yeah. I talk so much, I can't even... You missed the compliments. I can't even hear the compliments because I talk so <laughs> no. much. So you really enjoy that combination? Yeah, ah, I Okay, did. so cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is a fantastic leather and it, it really smells... I mean, I'm, I'm obsessed with this one. And most, at least women, uh, seem to really enjoy the scent of... The kind of leather scent that is in Tom yeah. Ford's Ombre Leather. Yes. So great choice. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it was my choice. <laughs> I just I just gave myself a high rating. And That's I, so weird. Yeah, 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 that is yeah. <laughs> Let's move Good on. job, Sandra. <laughs> so my last pick is the one and only the epic, the iconic, the timeless one that simply smells stunning, beautiful, sexy, elegant, raw seductive all at once <laughs> and the one the one i'm talking about is tom ford's black orchid yes. so we went up or down that ladder yeah. towards something that was seductive but in a more sexy way yeah but this one is so epic so what this one manages to do is to take us down or was it up that <laughs> ladder into something that is super sexy and seductive but at the same time it's super elegant and yeah. seductive. Yeah. This one has so many sides to it and it's simply put an epic one. I'm gonna quickly read out the notes. We have truffle, so many notes. Truffle gardenia, black currant. Then we have ylang ylang, jasmine, bergamot, mandarin, orange, are you still with me? Mm. Amalfi lemon, orchid, spices, gardenia, fruity notes, oh my wow. God. <laughs> Uh, Mexican chocolate, patchouli, vanilla, incense, amber, sandalwood, vetiver, and musk. Yeah, and you can really feel that there is a Mexican chocolate, not just an ordinary chocolate. No, this is this is not French, <laughs> and it's not American either. No, this, this is, is no Hershey's. Definitely this is Mexican, Mexican chocolate only. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, what I do really pick out in this one is the chocolate, the patchouli, yeah. the vanilla. Definitely the incense. Yes, that the incense, beautiful it, incense. Yes. And then something mm. fruity sweet together with the truffle. And then all the florals in this one together with the orchid are really blended in such a way that I sometimes cannot pick out all no. of them. They are no. like this big bouquet yes. of something beautiful. And even though you couldn't, can't, I mean, there are there are so many notes that you can't put, pick out each and every one of them, but they all contribute to this beautiful composition yeah. so if they like took some notes away it wouldn't be the same yeah this 
this is this is a 10 out of 10 no this is 20 out of 10 yes and the wonderful thing is that i can put this on and feel extremely elegant and professional mm. but i can also put it on and feel extremely seductive and sexy yeah. so this has so many personalities yeah and this one to me is something powerful this is a head turner for sure this is an attention grabber yeah. it's strong it's loud but it's it's strong and loud in such a beautiful and epic way it, it has so many different sides to it it's elegant it's classy it's really seductive. It has a raw edge to it and I just love it. Uh, so, I mean, just get it. Just, just get, get it. it. Yeah. If you are only going to buy one from Tom Ford, this yes. is the one. Yes. Yeah. The next one up is one that is very boozy and very seductive. Mm. And that is actually quite weird because drunk men are not seductive mm. but there's a different kind of booziness when we're talking about perfumes yes like a drunk man that <laughs> smell is not good no. but booziness in perfume <laughs> is another thing and this is another thing yeah so the one is angel's chair oh, from killian so this is good. incredible this is you, I think you said it in, a, in another video. This is the best from Killian. Yes, it's definitely. It's extremely seductive. It's so good. It's so well made and I can't get enough of it. No. It's, oh my God, I got the whiff. Oh my God. Boozy. So. Mondi. Yeah. Seductive. Sexy. Um. I'm speechless. You are, and I'm gonna tell you the notes, which Oof. I can read because please I'm speechless do. as well. Ooh. <laughs> please do. So we have cognac in the top, we have cinnamon, tonka bean, and oak, mm. and then we have praline, vanilla, and sandalwood. Mm. And this it might be the best boozy note I have ever smelled. It's definitely like the most seductive boozy notes yeah. I ever put my nose to. Yeah. So really, I can pick out the, the cinnamon, the sweet base. There's definitely something praline-ish, chocolately yeah. about it the is. vanilla aspect of it. And then the boozy side, I'm not sure how much I pick out on with the, uh, with the woody notes. No. Uh, but this is like a boozy gourmand that I think it's is stunning. Yes. And this is... <clears throat> this is definitely something that you want to smell on someone, but it, uh, it's also some, like something you want to drink Oof. or eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would love to have it like a dessert. Kilia, would you please send me a yeah. dessert with this one? Yeah, it's it's so good. This is, yeah, this is like... I can make a dessert and I just spray this, this over. This is yummy seductive. <laughs> yes, it is. And this is like seductive in such a way that it's almost like you, Ill illegal. Yes, and uh, it just makes you hungry. Y hungry or horny, I don't know, or both. Maybe that's the same. So um, I know you and I talked about this before. Uh, we both feel that this is for both men and women. Uh, yes. It doesn't matter who you are. You will smell absolutely delicious in this super sweet and boozy way. Uh, this is... This is, an, this is an epic choice of an it epic is. seductive perfume. It is. So if you are, because um, I picked out my five without mm. you knowing, and I didn't know which five you were going to pick. So if you can choose your favorite out mm. of my five for men. This yeah, that was easy. Right here, yeah. yeah. Even though they were all really good, there's something about this one that's just up. Uh, it just, I don't know how to even say it. <laughs> I just love it. Uh, and if you would pick one from mine then, which one would it be? Um, I am gravitating towards Black Orchid, ah. but that is not just seductive to me. So I wanted to go with something that is just pure seduction mm -hmm. for me. And that is uh, La Belle Le Parfum. Ooh, interesting. Yes. What a couple here. Yeah, that is a good in couple. in red and uh, I'm not sure what this guy is wearing, but... Uh, maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and let's put it this way. I mean, both of these are really sweet. Yeah. This one is not boozy sweet, though. But uh, I think both of these are truly unique scents. They are. I have not smelled anything like this before. 
And if you are looking for, and I believe both of these are also attention grabbers, head yeah. turners, yeah. super sexy, super seductive. And I guess we could say a lot of good things about these, but I think the most important thing is if you are interested in a super seductive perfume, just try either of these. Yeah, and what I'm thinking is, obviously both of you grab, both of you, <laughs> both of you. Both of these? <laughs> Both you and I ah. tend to gravitate towards sweet fragrances when we think of something sexy. Yes. Um, but maybe not everyone does because yes. people are different. So tell us in the comments if there are other notes or other types of fragrances that you think are really seductive that mm. are not sweet. Enlighten us. I do, however, want to point out that I chose different kinds of seductive vibes yeah, in you mind. Did. And yeah, you, you did, did as well. Yeah. So you will be able to find fragrances that are not super sweet in these as well. Yeah. Uh, but the, the ones we enjoy the most are the pretty much the sweetest. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, before you leave, don't forget to give us a like on this video. Go and follow both Rotten Rebel and me. I will put a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.